So you might be in a weird situation where you have this little icon, the SOS icon on the top right corner. Now, this is a very, very common issue right now, but it's not necessarily a problem. It's mostly just a, you know, it's just like an icon that tells you that maybe you don't have coverage or whatever the case is. Now, the first thing that a lot of people were having issues with is with airplane mode. So what I would recommend doing that a lot of people recommend is to swipe down into your control center of your phone and basically just toggle off airplane mode. So just toggle on airplane mode, just like so. Give it a few seconds, let it sit there for a little bit. You will see that the SOS icon went away. And what you want to do here after a few seconds is go ahead and toggle on airplane mode once again. And you will see that once it's off, as long as your SIM card is installed, as long as everything is good, you should see that the SOS icon has now gone away. Now, you have to remember that if it says SOS, it's mostly because you're either not having a SIM card or eSIM installed on your phone, or because you're out of area of coverage. So if in this specific case, the reason why it's still showing me SOS is because I do not have a SIM card in my iPhone. So if this iPhone did have a SIM card, it probably wouldn't be giving me that. It would just be saying like T-Mobile or probably nothing. But the reason it's saying SOS is because I do not have a SIM card or eSIM. Now the same thing goes if you basically are out of an area of coverage. So if I'm in an area that basically has no coverage at all, like a basement somewhere that has no Wi-Fi, or maybe in the middle of a city or something, those types of areas are not going to be giving you, you know, barely any signal. So because of that, you might be getting that SOS icon, but it will go away. Once you get signal, it'll come back, and that's basically all you're going to have to do is get into an area that has better signal. Now another thing you can try is to restart your phone. So just go ahead and power down your phone, hold down the buttons to do it, slide the power off, power on your phone again, and you want to see if that ends up fixing it. If that still doesn't work, the next thing you may want to try doing is go ahead and open up your settings application. You want to scroll down into your general icon right there. You want to click on software update. And all you want to do is go ahead and update your phone. And that is another thing you can try doing as well. Hopefully it ends up fixing it for you. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.